So I recently bought the Vision Pro, and as in recently, it was yesterday, and I've been loving it. One of the main things that I wanted to do was play my Xbox remotely in the house. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what it's like to connect to your Xbox with the Xbox app, and also if I can connect my controller Bluetooth, is it better to play with the controller connected to the Xbox if you're in the area, all of those things. And then we can talk about the scenarios of when you would do this, all right? So let's connect. All right, Xbox here. So we're gonna connect to my Xbox right now. Turn this on and we're gonna start off by going to the Xbox app. So boom, we got the Xbox app right now. Um, I can move this all here. I wanna make this big. So Xbox is on right here. And now what I'm gonna do, which most people was like, oh, I had to hook connect to this, this, this. I'm gonna go up top to remote play. And I got an Xbox Series X and X since I'm right next to my Series X. We're gonna connect to the Series X and turn on remote play. And I'm gonna show you my controller right here just so you can be the judge of if the latency is good. And now we're waiting. All right, here we go. All right, so this is what it looks like. Down, here we go. And let's turn that off. More options, basics, off. All right, that's off now, boom. Confirm. So now we got a clean palette. Okay, let's just, let's just show off college football. So we're gonna play college football. We get this sign. I usually, if you're gonna play Xbox right next to your Xbox, I recommend connecting your controller just straight to the Xbox, not Bluetooth. So we're gonna do that. Continue with basic touch. And also what we're gonna do is compare the difference between being connected to the Xbox and connecting Bluetooth to the Vision Pro. So hit A. So it's like, yo, what? you just want a bigger screen? Nah, baby, let's get immersive. Let's get immersive, baby. Oh, man. Wow, look at this, look at this. Let's move this to the camera so I can see exactly me, but. We, we on a beach, baby. So you can hear the waves in the water. I don't really wanna hear that. So let's see if I can take that off. Let's go to environment. Turn the environment sounds down. I just wanna hear the game. All right, so this is what we looking like. So the graphics, it's being streamed. I think it's it remotes play to 1080. All right, boom. I hit Y, uh, I'm gonna go left to right. It doesn't feel like any latency at all. I don't feel like I'm lagging. I'm gonna try to kick. Here we go. I'm gonna try to move the character. Now I got Fios internet, it's one gig and I'm right next to my Xbox, okay? And the only time I feel like I'll be doing this exactly like this is if my kids and my wife wanna watch something on the TV and we just wanna be near each other but not consume the same stuff. This is when I'll be using this. So left, right, I'm getting a little bit of jumps there, but for the most part, this thing is playable. If I played this online, I would not be upset. It, there's no noticeable lag for me to complain. So now we're gonna to try to connect to Bluetooth. All right, so y'all can see me. I'm gonna I'm bring this all the way here. Let's set you right here. I'm gonna move my character all the way around to see how much control I got. Yeah, see this isn't, this isn't bad. If I'm playing this, I'm gonna play this straight up regular. I still feel like I could go online and play against someone on the internet in my Vision Pro. Now granted, I'm in the same house. Most of you guys will be using this and y'all be traveling somewhere, connecting the remote play, which you can do, but I, I mean, I'm huge on having a good internet, so it will definitely be laggy, but 
All right, we're gonna go no huddle. This feels good, man. So when you're in the Xbox app, you gotta make sure that you go to settings and then under devices, you gotta make sure you go to remote features, remote features. So we go to remote features, you gotta make sure that you enable remote features and enable play to streaming. And that is the way that you can play. Play to allows you, okay. But yeah, make sure enable these two and you're good to go. You could test your remote play to make sure everything works. You could do this on a Series X, the Series S. You might even be able to do this on a previous Xbox. So um, there you have it. Thank you all so much. I appreciate y'all for checking out how to play your Xbox Series X and S on the Vision Pro. I can show you a walkthrough of PlayStation X if you guys like.